Okay, so I have a file here that um, is a disk image file. So these are kind of different um, file formats than most people are typically uh, used to seeing. Um, it's got a .iso extension. Um, yours might have a bit different, but for the most part, it's all going to be the same thing. Um, basically, what it means is it took all the information from a CD and made it into a computer file. Um, we will need a separate program in order to run this and actually mount it um, to kind of tell the computer to, to act like this is in the drive tray. Um, so what we're going to do is go to Google and just going to cite search uh, Daemon Tools. So D-A-E-M-O-N uh, Tools. I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, and we're going to scroll down. It's going to be a light version, so it is free. Um, so right here, so Damon Tools Lite 4, I'm going to click download, and I'm going to click this download at the bottom. Okay, so once your program downloads, um, it'll launch up, and we're just going to hit next for English. Uh, I agree. We're going to do the free license, click next. Um, we don't want a Windows gadget. All this other stuff is fine. These are kind of all the files that it will default to uh, to using for Daemon Tools. So that's okay. Um, and I'm going to hit next. So Mobo Genie. I don't want that, so I'm just going to click skip. Uh, I don't want Wajam, so click decline. And click install. Pretty much any time you install free software, always look through the options because they always want to install other stuff that you don't want, all this kind of freeware crap that will slow down your computer. Um, okay, so now that's installed, we're going to click, so it's going to run when we close it, so that's good. Um, so I got a little user account thing from Windows saying, do you want to um, allow this program to run? I'm just going to click yes. Okay, so now Daemon Tools is installed, um, so I can close all this down. So you can actually see that the icon is now changed for this program. Um, and now if I double click on it, so now it's going to say mounting image um, and it will load up. And there it is. So now it's actually going to like kind of autoplay as if it was a CD. So typically it's going to have like an auto run um, for the setup if it's a program you're installing or whatever it is. So that's it. It kind of made the, um, uh, the file act like a disk is in the CD tray.